Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Siti Fatimah Al-Zahra binti Zuhari and right now our group are going to present about high traffic issue under chapter 7, network media and devices. Okay, um, first thing first, I'm going to talk about the introduction. Okay, high traffic issue is most common issue in network media and devices. Uh, okay, network media and devices is about the physical network hardware that is collected before deploying a network. Media is the most important long-term investment that needs to be chosen with great consideration in order to have a functioning network. Hence, the choice of media type affects it, the type of network interface controller and IC install, the speed and the capability of the network. Okay, network traffic refers to data moving across a network at any given time. Network data consists of packets, the smallest fundamental units of data pass along a network. Okay, network data broken into these packets for transmission and reassemble at destination. Okay, traffic jams are similar to network congestion which causes delay when network node is carrying more data than it can handle. It's Nuri Hazika, 1182641. Now we will continue with causes of network congestion. First is uh, over subscription. Uh, this occurs when a system is handling traffic more than it was designed. For example, when peak period, there are more users than uh, off peak period. Second, poor network design or misconfiguration. For example, a broadcast storm. A broadcast storm contained within subnets. The larger the subnet, the more serious the effect of uh, broadcast storm. Uh, the third is of a utilized device. This situation occurs where uh, a device is operating at a capacity it was designed for. The fourth one is faulty device. This occurs when a device not support a higher link capacity. For example, uh, an organization by a link capacity of uh, 100 Mbps, but the device only can provide 30 Mbps of network. The last one is security attack. Uh, security attack consists of virus, worms, uh, DOC attacks. For example, uh, one of uh, our server had be compromised and it seems to host the illicit content. My name is Siti Nur Amanina between Muhammad Shokori and my metric number is 1181604. And now, I'm going to present about the effects of a congested network. As you can see, I point out three effects in this slide. Okay, first is delay. Okay, delay is also known as latency. Is the time it takes for a destination to receive the packet sent by the sender. The time it takes for a web page to load is a result of how long it takes for the packets from the web server to get to the client. Okay, second, packet loss. Packet loss is an even more negative effect of network congested. This is especially troubling for applications like voice over IP that do not deal well with delay and packet loss resulting in drop call and call detail record lag and so on okay third times out network congestion can also result in times out in various applications since most connections will not stay up indefinitely waiting for packets to arrive this can result in lost connection and now we move on to question session first question when does congestion or traffic networks occur in a router? Okay, the answer for this question is when the input and output rate persistently, the queue will start to overflow causing this. However, routers can signal congestion when it occurs or is about to occur to the sources in the network. This signaling can take on many forms, packet drops, explicit marking on packets and explicit message Uh, to the sources. Okay, next question is what are the symptoms of network congestion? Okay, there are a few symptoms of network congestion which are times out, dropped wireless connections, higher latency, packet loss, and performance degradation. Okay, question three. What are the problems associated with the network congestion? Okay, problems. Network congestion in data networking and queuing theory is the reduced quality of service occur when a network node or link is carrying more data than it can handle. 
Typical effects include queuing delay, packet loss or the blocking of new connections. The loss of data is one of the more detrimental effects which is the harmful thing of a network congestion problem. Network congestion causes packet loss when an internet route becomes full. Okay, what is packet loss? Okay, packet loss where data packets are lost in transmission causes poor video quality, bad VOIP service and online gameplay to stop. Okay, question 4. How do I check my congestion network? Okay, well, uh, by pinging. Ping is the fastest way. Ping what? Okay, ping 4.2.2.2 or you can ping google.com or you can ping IP address. Okay, uh, 4.2. Okay, let me show you how. Okay, let's ping first um, 4.2.2.2 for connectivity to see if there is any packet loss. So, um, as you can see, there is no packet loss. So, what if you ping google.com? Okay. Okay, there is also no packet loss right here. Okay, let's ping your IP address. Okay, how to know your IP address? Just type IP config. And there you go, your IP address is right here. So, just copy it and type ping, paste your IP address and then enter and then wait for the result to know if there is no there is no any there is no any packet loss okay uh, okay what if okay let's ping uh, the device okay uh, first uh, uh, first of all loss here zero here means that the stable was uh, the connection was stable okay what if uh, let's uh, the device what if we ping the device that doesn't exist because this is gonna yield the same result if a device wasn't actually working so let's say if your router was down and you pin your router but you're not going to get the a response from it. So let's just try to pin the device that maybe... Okay, let's... Okay, okay so... Okay, as you can see, the first packet didn't go through and then the second packet also didn't go through. Same also with the third one. Okay. Okay, as you can see, packet send 4 receives 0 but loss 4. It was 100% uh, loss, means that the signal does not exist. So if you ping uh, the device and you get no response and you lost all the packets, that means the system you try to reach is not connect. It's having the network problem also. Okay, just now I have shown you, let's see the note here. If you experience different packet loss with multiple devices, then it might be an issue of updates, media, which is bad wires or wireless or even damaged hardware. So, and also if you are experiencing packet loss, but don't know the source, try running these tests at different times of the day in different places and with various devices. Now we move to the last question which is how to reduce the network traffic. There are some suggestions that can be applied to uh, reduce the network congestion. First, you can purchase uh, more bandwidth and implement the quality of service features. And then we can remove server from network that cause the security attacks. We also can control the host that allowed to access. This will prevent from the security attacks and we can filter the cookies. The fourth one is uh, we can control the N4 access. We also need to keep uh, the software up to date. Uh, this will prevent the misconfiguration. And then we also can disable the default accounts. Next, we also can increase the capacity of the system by implementing high availability features like uh, staking and clustering. We also can replace the fourth device. Uh, the last one is we can avoid installing uh, it where people will be walking. Last but not least, conclusion. Overall, about high traffic issue, in order to minimize high traffic, first thing first, one must analyze the traffic patterns to find the segment of the network and where the congestion occurs as well as the reason why it happened. After the problem has been figured out and outlined, one can find an effective solution to avoid congestion and improve the entire infrastructure. Thank you for listening.